So my name is Vashti Dubois. This is Treehouse Books. We're located at 1430 West Susquehanna Avenue in North Central Philadelphia. Treehouse Books is an urban literary cafe for young people. Our mission is to nurture and sustain a community of readers, writers, and thinkers in North Central Philadelphia. And we've been here for eight years. We've been incorporated as a nonprofit for six years. During the school year, we primarily serve the North Central Philadelphia community because many of the young people who come to our after school program are in walking distance coming from neighborhood schools. During the summer, children come actually from all over Philadelphia because we are a program that focuses on reading in the after school hours. And so the summer is a summer camp around reading. Actually, Treehouse Books really did start as a used bookstore, and it evolved more into a drop-in sort of after-school program where there was homework help and some arts and crafts and writing because there's a lot of influence from New City, you know, New City Writing at Temple University. But it has since then evolved into an after-school program that really does focus on reading and making sure that reading is a fun and um, wonderful activity for young people. We're not, we're not a school, we're not trying to be a school, we're actually trying to inspire a love of reading in our young people. <laughs> when I came to Treehouse Books, I realized that I had been here before because my son was in Bike Works, which is next door. And I would find him outside at the free book bins. I don't know if you noticed today, but we give away free books. So there's always a free book bin outside. And so that's how I actually discovered Treehouse Books. Well, if you look at some of our house rules, um, Treehouse Books is all about equality, collaboration, shared purpose, um, big ideas. Uh, and so that's Treehouse. But then when you think about the impact of reading uh, on the lives of so many people and how reading itself is such a potentially liberating activity that, you know, books are about many things and many people in many places. So if you become an avid reader, if you, come, if you become a place that actually houses this, you actually are a place that's most representative of all of those ideas, tolerance, equality, freedom, because that's what the ability to sort of read and share stories represents.